party people we are at the pond and we are going to throw out a bait that definitely doesn't get enough love on this channel it's the gulp alive minnow here i'll throw in a little clip right here of just last week i caught the biggest catfish i had ever caught And that was on this bait alone. So I'm going to come back to this spot, give it another shot, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how effective these can be. So let's get the casting, and we're going to see what we can do. Lash, you know, on the tree, but that's all right. Can I cast them around? chilling right there look at this dude he is massive dude i wish y'all could see that clearly i don't know if you can or not but that guy's a giant Picked it back up. Look at that. <laughs> it came back for it, y'all. First little cast over here after looking at that turtle. I'm telling you guys, these things are just, they get the job done. Oh, oh no. We ain't getting away. Like, look at that. You can't argue with results. It's definitely not a big fish, but when you're just sitting in the house not doing anything, it beats that, you know? Pretty. See, that's what I'm saying. These little areas. Let's see if we can get the big one. I'm going to bust out the bigger version of that and see if we can catch something. All right, guys. So we did upgrade to the, I think it's the five inch version of this. We're going to toss it around, see if something wants to hit it. Maybe we can find one of the bigger ish bass that are in here. Um, not necessarily sure what the big fish are in here, but there's a nice one. He just hit it right off the rip. All right. Good job, little buddy. Yeah, you ain't popping off. And he wanted that. Closed his mouth. But not bad. Nice little fish. These baits definitely get bites. I will say that they definitely get bit. Nice little fish. Ooh. Combo is in trouble. All right, on the move. That's a bite. All right. I mean, they catch fish. They just don't have the same action that I'm used to. This is a dark bass right here. He's been all in the grass. Come here. This guy has been all in the grass. Look at him. Super dark colors. And just a little tip for you guys. If you ever want to know where the fish has been, if they're dark like this, the pigment from the grass kind of dyes their skin. So... It's an easy way to tell for that guy. So there's definitely grass down there or wherever he's been hanging out. Look at that, we got something. Might be a bluegill. Oh no, it's a little bass. 
Then he gets eight by a bigger fishy. It's a cute little fishy. Little fishies are fun to catch. But he hit that thing on the fall. He didn't even let it get to the bottom. Maybe the lighter jig head was the move so it helped it flutter a little more. There was another bite. thing like I'm saltwater fishing it, ripping it like a freaking one of them plug things. Swallowed that thing. Yeah, it's probably the bigger one of the day. It's a cool little fish. He's got weird yellow spots on him. like weird yellow spots on him. I wonder what it was. big fish oh and look at that a freaking catfish I'm telling y'all to speak that stuff into existence no way it's on the ultralight again <laughs> i don't think this is the same one it's a different one this one's a little smaller than that last one aggressive nonetheless.
I just want to get like a good shot and I'm gonna use it as a thumbnail. My guy's full of them. There's only like four pound lines. I don't want to snap it. Oh, yeah, I'm really looking at it. Are you chilling? Yeah, I gotta get a good shot. Mm. That's not like that. That's not like that. It's a nice one. All right, guys, so just like that, I'm gonna leave it on that fish catch. That was a massive catfish for an ultra light setup. If you like the content, like and subscribe. And as always, keep it real, keep it safe. Can't wait to see you guys next time. Peace.